Since the 1960s, Kujip Nazarene Hospital has brought healing to the highlands of Papua New Guinea. That healing has been more than just physical, it's also been spiritual. Of the 14 districts in Papua New Guinea, seven of the districts that surrounds the hospital, we record 70% of the membership of the Church of the Nazarene. The holistic ministry is nothing new to ministry in the world as well as this part of the world. But being able to have the hospital and our medical team to be front runners to provide healing physically. And then we add the church ministry of extending opportunities for spiritual healing and a relationship with Christ is very significant. This drive to heal the whole person is unseen work at Kujip. While treating a physical problem, doctors often see something deeper. Most of the patients that we think of every day are our 60,000 outpatients or the patients that come to the emergency room, the moms who have babies or the people who need surgery. What we don't often hear about are the patients with HIV, with TB, with leprosy, with diseases that often make them socially outcast in some ways. And our hospital seeks to continue to, to minister to them. Most of the ladies, they will come with hypertension. That's uh, the disease we can call it, but when you really spend time, sit with the women, talking to them, you will see that they have got uh, problems in their marriage, problems with their spouse's uh, family, with their kids, with uh, that constant pressure. At the heart of this is relationships. Nurses and chaplains speak to the need for all of us to be restored and healed by Christ. Throughout the hospital, it was started by missionaries. The College of Nursing was started by missionaries. And throughout the past 50 years, we've continued to work on helping to train up the local Papua New Guineans to do the jobs that the missionaries may have started. The nursing program is a three year, uh, two months program for, to train the registered nurses. They not only graduate with the registered nurse certificate, but they lay ministry certificate as well. That we train the nurses to become the ministers of the gospel. This relationship is continued when patients return to their villages and share their experiences. I remember that night at the service, uh, the lady who was leading the songs, she was testifying and she said, you know, I wouldn't be here tonight if it wasn't for the ministry of the hospital. She had been operated on three times, twice by my father, when she had difficulty during childbirth and required a cesarean section. And she just testified to what the Lord had done in her life and how that had affected not just her, but her family and her church community. After all these years bringing spiritual healing, training and building deep relationships around Kujip, God is calling the hospital to something new. A part of this new vision is to plant rural clinics instead of expanding on the main hospital. If people can't come to us, let's go to them. And I strongly believe that the Lord wants us to go to people and not just sit around in one area and, uh, you know, some people say the comfort zones and you feel like, you know, you're doing the Lord's work, but I, I, I believe the Lord wants us to stand up and move out and go to the people where, uh, where there's no gospel and there's, where there's no health services. Uh, and I believe it's God's driven. I should say, I refer to the gospel itself. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. Because the need of a clinic is real and the people are hungry for the word, and if the partnership can materialize, I believe that souls will be drawn to the kingdom of God. This allows the Church of the Nazarene to bring Christ's holistic healing to even more remote areas. Christ can meet them at their point of need just as they are. They don't have to prepare themselves to dress up in a certain way, to refine their lives so that their language is this way. If they can only just reach out to God as they are, then the power and the love of God is sufficient to transform them in however way God finds them. God is looking to reach out to you wherever you are. Change can bring anxiety. It can be tempting to stay where we are and do things as they've always been done. But at Kujip, they know that God is preparing them for something new.